Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to conduct a hypothesis test for a mean difference um, with paired data or match data um, using Minitab Express. And this comes from Chapter 9.1 in the Stevens Think and Do book. There's two demonstrations in this video. One is how to conduct one of these when you're just giving the when you're given the summarizing statistics, specifically the average difference, the standard deviation of the difference, and the number of pairs. Um, and then the second part shows you how to import and just use raw data to conduct such a test. And we'll be doing the example uh, one from 9.1, where we have some cholesterol levels before and after um, a drug is administered, and the summarizing statistics are right here. Basically, the difference was 32. So the mean, mean before, mean after. But if you average all the differences, you'll see there's a number of differences. They're all positive. And if you average all those, you get 32. And the standard deviation of all these differences is 15.4. So that's what I mean by the summarizing statistics. OK, so to do this in uh, Minitab Express, we come over to our Minitab Express. If you're on home, you're going to click over to statistics. Now, if you look at this, you think, oh, there's two samples. So I'm going to go here to two samples, and there's this thing paired. You could do it here. It's not as good as a regular one sample t test. So we're going to do it there. So don't go there. You could, it's just not as uh, flexible. We're going to go to one sample because it really is one sample, it's the sample of differences. And we're going to do a t test. Click on t. All right, and so for our first case here, we're just going to use the summarized statistics. So the default for input is sample data in a column. We're going to switch that over to summarized data. They want the sample size. That's the number of pairs. In this case, it's 10. The sample mean is this 32 over here. That's the mean of the differences, 32. Sample standard deviation is the standard deviation of the difference is 15.4. We're going to perform a hypothesis test. And this is the box that doesn't appear under the two sample tab. For some reason or another, I'm not sure, but this one has it. Um, in this case, it's 0. We're, we're hypothesizing that the mean difference is greater than 0. But you can put something else in there. And I like that because you might want to hypothesize that the difference is greater than like 5 or something. But in this case, it's 0. So we go up to options. We are claiming that the mean is greater than the hypothesized value, greater than 0. And we're good to go. So you click OK. When you scroll down, what you'll see is that you have a t value. That's the test statistic of 6.57. That's pretty big and a p-value that is smaller than 0 0.0001. It doesn't even tell you what it is, because um, when it's that small, you know that you're um, going to reject the null hypothesis. So in this case, we're going to reject the null hypothesis and support the claim that, um, on average, the drug lowers cholesterol. Just for a second, let's see how you do that with two samples. If you went to two samples, paired, you put in summarized data. In this case, sample size is 10. Sample mean is, again, 32. Standard deviation is 15.4. The only thing is there's no box here for the hypothesized difference for the hypothesis test. Come to options. The mean difference is greater than 0. So yeah, it always is with comparison to 0. But if you click OK, notice you get the same results. So you can do both. Um, using one sample is a little more uh, flexible than two. OK, so how do we do this sort of thing with raw data? Suppose I have this raw data, just the before and after values in an Excel spreadsheet. And uh, let me get to there. There they are, before and after. Um, and to get this into Minitab, I find the easiest way to do it is to just copy and paste it right into your column over here. Go to the top left paste. Okay, so now since I don't really have the differences, I could build a column of differences. But that might be more work than I'm willing to put in right now. So 
I have my before and after. I'll go to, I want to test for a mean difference being greater than zero. I'll go to two samples, because now I really do have two samples. Paired. Each sample is in a column. That is true. The default value here is uh, exactly what we have. So sample one is before, so we bring that over with the arrow. Sample two, we'll make that after. Bring that over with the arrow. Options. We're testing the claim that the mean difference is greater than zero. Back to data. Looks like we're good. Press OK. And notice you get the uh, same the same output, right? So you can use the summarized uh, statistics, mean difference, standard deviation of the difference, um, or you can actually enter the raw data. Either way, as usual with Minitab Express, it's fast and it's easy, and we are done. Bye.